when you think about how the gallery started, how it was eight artists who needed a place here in Baton Rouge to show their work because the venues that were here already didn't really fit what they were showing, it's incredible to think that now, we're more than 50 years later, we have artist membership, almost of 60 artists who work in a wide array of media. And we're very lucky to have the artists living amongst us in the community. I've always seen the gallery as a place that you can come to interact with all sorts of members of the community. It's a very inclusive space in the heart of City Park. It's also been a place where I feel you can have high quality art on display and interact with local artists. There's no other place like that in Baton Rouge. The first 50 years I think were really foundational in the way that they built the site, the interest, the people, the place. Just the space itself is so both externally beautiful, historic, and then internally it offers so much in terms of the scale, the ability to show work either out on the floor or on the walls. It's very accommodating. It strives really hard to be inclusive and dynamic and fresh and exciting. <laughs> and I just think it has so much to offer many people if they just show up. It makes me so proud to see that the gallery, and especially this unique model, which is a cooperative, has been something that Baton Rouge has supported over the years, and that some of the very first original artists were still a part of that. That has contributed to Baton Rouge's unique identity. Our hope at the gallery is really just to bring more and more people to the gallery, to contemporary art, and to enjoy the work of local artists that we have here in the community. I think people would be shocked to find out about the artists that we have that live here in Baton Rouge or in the surrounding areas that exhibit nationally, in some cases internationally, and Baton Rouge Gallery is lucky to be a place for them to share their work with their community here in Baton Rouge. In our next 50 years, I think Baton Rouge Gallery is going to do much the same as what it's done for the first 50 years, which is to bring artists and audiences together bringing them together in a way that is inviting, that is comfortable, and that really spurs discussion and spurs thought and re-examination of what art is, what the human experience is, that are really important not only to the artists and the audience, but to the city as a whole.